Welcome to Face the Truth, a program brought to you by The Church of Christ. Every day we are constantly exposed to an infinite number of images, and oftentimes we don't even realize just how many things we see from day to day. Now on the other hand, there are some images, especially of famous personalities or characters, who are easily identifiable to many. Let's take a look at some of these examples. Now the previous images are well known today, especially with the use of the modern media. However, there's an image that's been around for centuries that many people recognize all over the world. Can you identify this image? Now we went to the streets and showed similar renditions of this image, and here are some of the answers we received. Now I'm at a college campus and we're asking uh, different people if they can identify the following pictures. All right, Robert, who would you say this is? <laughs> Jesus. You, you Jesus. agree? That's Jesus, yes. This would be Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll show you another one. I can't see. It's an African Jesus Christ. And how about this? This is also a picture <laughs> of Jesus Christ. All right, last one. Tiles. How about this one? Oh, that would be Jesus. I would say Jesus. How did you come to know this picture identifies uh, Jesus Christ? From pictures I've seen in the past, like in church and stuff. How um, he's portrayed in society. That's not the picture that I grew up with in my house, though. What kind of picture did you grow up with? Um, we had a picture of Jesus with dreadlocks. So then, where do you think that these pictures came from? Throughout the ages. <laughs> do you know... Uh, if the Bible even uh, mentions what Christ looks like at all? Yeah, it does. It does? Where? I can't remember what, like what verse, but it does. Do you believe that there's any mention in the Bible whatsoever as to how he actually looks like? No, there isn't. Let's say it does. We're not, I'm not agreeing that it does actually mention what he looks like, but let's say that it has some kind of uh, thing that mentions here. But still, it could be anything, right? Mm -hmm. So why would people, how would people get a picture just from um, what it says? What it says? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know. Right. No one really knows what he looks like. No one really, truly, actually knows. But I think it takes great comfort in people to just have an image. You want to believe what you want to believe in, and it's up to the heart what it wants to believe in. Now, according to the people we asked, they identified these images as the image or picture of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if you notice, though the men in the pictures varied in complexion, color of the eyes, and even race, they all identified the images as to being our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we even went a little further. We asked a few people to describe, well, how does Christ look like in their own words? And here is what they had to say. Growing up, you have a lot of different images of him. Well, actually, uh, since I was a little kid, the picture that I've, I've always seen is... Um, kind of like long wavy hair, not that wavy, but like blonde blue eyes, a white robe with a green stash, and bare, he's barefoot. Long hair and, you know, um, cute face, you know. But knowing that he's from the Middle East, he probably was not blonde and blue eyed. Like the previous interviews, they said that it is indeed to them the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, if we consult the Bible, what is the true image of Christ? 
Well, we'll find out when we come back. Please stay tuned.